Kilo One, Germany, uniform Yankee. Uh, the name is Ken, Kilo Echo Nancy, and Jim, we spoke uh, about two weeks ago, and uh, so I've been tweaking my radio uh, quite a bit. My uh, group said I had too much low end in, and uh, so I've been uh, tweaking it to get it to be uh, a little better and to get rid of a little bit of the low end and more towards CX, but also red too. I'm running uh, about a kilowatt and uh, through a high dipole antenna, actually a ZS6 BKW or modified uh, G5RV up at about um, maybe 95 feet here in uh, southern New Hampshire. Roger, Ken, well, I think your audio is just perfect now. Yeah, I think you've got it uh, just at the absolute uh, perfect uh, uh, place as far as I'm concerned, equalization-wise. You've got uh, nice mids and a nice top, and uh, uh, you have a bottom end. It's not excessive. It's, uh, oh, gosh, I, I would call it uh, perfect. Roger? Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for that uh, report. Of course. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, of course, yours is... Uh is, uh, I guess the word is, uh, it's the best I've ever heard. Perfect. Us here into New Hampshire, Jim. So I know there's a lot of other people waiting. I didn't want to take up a lot of time. Um, I'm, I'm able to put in more lower end, but you say no, right? Yeah, no, I would, I would keep it right there. I think you've got it going on. Uh, I would uh, see if you could ch check out your um, ALC level. Uh, with mic gain in hand and make sure your ALC is running mid-scale to two-thirds. Just uh, uh, bring up your mic gain or whatever you need to do to uh, run uh, mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC. Okay, that's, uh, you're right. The, uh, <laughs> the ALC is uh, pretty much dead right now. And uh, I'll bring up the mic gain uh, a bit and uh, bring up uh, the compressor a bit and we'll see if we can get that up. All right, uh, just uh, a three on the compressor. Just uh, set the compressor at a three, Roger. Okay, got it, got it in there, and now we have uh, good uh, movement towards the center of uh, the ALC here on, uh, on uh, FG-101D. All right, but you got to stay on mic. Don't pull off mic. Stay right there, because you want to be, you always want to be on access to your microphone. Right now, dead center, and uh, the ALC is dead center. All right. Uh, hmm. Uh, tell me about your antenna system, Roger. Yeah, I'm uh, now. I'm I'm on the loop. I have problems with the tuner there. Um, on my, I'm running a uh, Alpha 9500 at about kilowatt or so. And uh, so what I had to do was just jump over to my loop. I have an 80 meter loop up about 70 feet. Roger, I'm catching a lot of room noise. Uh, that I didn't hear before. So is your proximity to microphone the last transmission the same as it was in the beginning? Uh, yes, it is, but I increased uh, a lot of gains on the mic, and other people have said that brings in the, new, the uh, room no noise as well. So I can, I can start to bring that down uh, somewhat and uh, see if that helps, but of course then the ALC drops a bit. Yeah, don't, don't do anything right now. Uh, how, how, what's your distance to microphone? All right, uh, make that uh, two inches to Mike. Uh, come uh, two inches to Mike and let me hear you. Okay, now I'm two inches to the mic. Two inches to the mic, and uh, ALC is um, bouncing towards the center. And uh, I did lower my mic gain down a, a little bit. Oh, gosh. Uh, and you're at three on your, comp your compressor at a three, Roger? Uh, Roger, that's a Roger. Uh, yes, yes, right at uh, three right now. Okay, you're uh, to me. You're a lot better at uh, two inches or what you, whatever your latest proximity to microphone is. Uh, when you uh, back up, you do catch that room is uh, particularly live. So uh, what you want to do is work a tighter mic, uh, t so you don't have the uh, ambient uh, reverberation coming in. So if you're you know run it about uh, two inches, uh, that uh, will supersede uh, any uh, problems of the uh, uh, the sound bouncing in your room, Roger. Roger, I got that. Uh, very astute of you. Um, let me ask you this, Jim. Um, do I have a lot more lows as I come close to the mic? Well, normally you do, but uh, I'm not noticing uh, much of a buildup, Roger. It uh, sounds very good. OK, 
Okay, thank you so much for your expertise. It's so great to have the privilege to talk to someone like you. And of course, uh, I do visit the YouTube, listen to myself, and to others as well. So I know this hunt is waiting. I don't want to hold it. So let me say 73 to you this week from K1GY to kc one vsh Have a great weekend, Jim. Thank you. Roger, Ken. And uh, where are you located, sir? Uh, we're in southern New Hampshire. Um, we're closer to the Massachusetts border, uh, just about uh, 20 miles above the border. Roger, Ken. All righty. Uh, thanks for checking in. And if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us uh, next uh, Friday uh, between 3.30 and 5. We record live and then post it up on YouTube. So if you want to hear what your radio sounds like, uh, if you go to YouTube in the next couple of days uh, and uh, look for um, yeah, our call sign, can put our call sign, do a call sign search on um, YouTube, KC9VKV search on YouTube, and that will take you to our QSO vlog page. And you'll be looking for an entity, uh, air check entity called My Group Air Check 11020. My group air check 11020, today's date. Roger. Roger, Roger. We'll be there for sure. Thank you so much again, and have a great weekend. Roger, Ken, three is that way, sir. Uh, this is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If uh, you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout.